I'm from the Meskwaki Nation in Tama, Iowa. I'm deaf, I'm the mother of two children, and I've come all this way with my family and friends to stand in support of the Standing Rock Youth Council and all the people that will be affected by the potential dangers that comes with the construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline in North Dakota and Enbridge Line 3 in Minnesota. I've come here to remind President Joe Biden of his commitment to all Native people. Should respect and honor the treaty and the rights of all tribes that were made with the federal government, including the people of Standing Rock, Sioux Nation, and the Shine River, Sioux National Nation, I'm sorry and the men and women of the Ananashpi tribe. We need to stop these pipelines. The children and women that live on the Standing Rock Reservation and the Cheyenne River Sioux River and the, um, the lands in the Minnesota have the most to lose from the construction of these pipelines that carry dirty tar and sand oil. Their land and their water will be affected negatively when this pipeline breaks and the damage eventually spreads to the population off of the reservation. The pipelines always break. We need to stop these pipelines. In North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, and other places that are home to indigenous people, the threat to the health and the well-being of the environment is real. These pipelines do nothing to improve the lives of the people. They do nothing to improve the lives of the people they lay closest to, and they benefit only the companies that build them. It's time to put our natural environment and our indigenous people before the well-beings of these oil companies. Let's all work hard. Let's all work hard developing cleaner solutions to our energy needs. Again, we're asking President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris to stop the pipelines. Kill the black snake. I want you guys to repeat with me. Kill the black snake. 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 Stand the rock.